Hey again, everyone. Thank you for joining me. There's a lot of folks making a lot of content out there. So if you are still engaging in my discussions, it is always much appreciated. What is a life coach? What is, how do you get the title of life coach? It seems to me that if you were a, if you had that title of life coach, that you are so good at life that you can now coach others on how to also live life. I warned a lot of you, and I think it's been years ago now, about life coaches. That anyone that gets a microphone, a YouTube channel, and an internet connection can start putting messages out pretty much anytime, anywhere. A lot of these folks go undetected for a really long time. What is it that makes them so good at life that they can coach you? I'm not really one for uh, paying a lot of attention to letters after somebody's name. A lot of these uh, degrees that you see are pretty much worthless anyway. But even more worthless is someone that doesn't have any credentials at all and are claiming to have some. Personally, I've never ever termed myself as any kind of coach. Uh, never asked for donations. Not trying to sell you a coffee cup because what I want, what I want to do, doesn't have anything to do with money or wanting to uh, wanting to tell you how to live. Most of what I say comes from personal experience. And the reason why I say that is if there's something that you can't reconcile that I'm talking about on my channel, then you can just discard it. And that's okay with me. Uh, I want to always be really careful about what I say because people are listening to you constantly. If you give somebody bad advice, then, um, you know, you've done something wrong. Okay. There's a couple of things that I talk about that are a little bit different than most of the folks Everybody, everyone has an angle that they come from. Mine is don't always forgive so easily. Uh, fight back if you have to. Things like that. I know that's not a, a popular uh, way. And that if you can't go no contact right away, that you need to actually observe what the narcopath is doing to keep tabs on that. So that's three of the things that I talk about that are a little bit different. But in no way would I ever tell you that I'm, I'm going to coach you in your life. I've had folks uh, in the emails ask me if I take um, sessions, and I, I've talked to some folks on the phone, and I've had some email uh, discussions with some folks, but in no way would I ever tell you that we're, I'm coaching you. Be very careful of these folks. A lot of people, um, not a lot, a few, can have enough charisma that they can that they can really in, they can get people in, in positions of, in a position of weakness and exploit uh, your misery for their gain. And that's what the narcopath does. We've all known that for a long time. And we also know that they gravitate toward positions of relative power that a lot of teachers and a lot of preachers uh, even a lot of therapists, when the narcopath that I was married to uh, took me to the marriage counselor, it was a slaughter. It was an absolute uh, attack on me. It was, the, this woman could not shut up that she was endorsed by Dr. Phil. And that was like my first red flag because I just... God, I just hate that guy. I loathe that guy. I've seen him give bad advice, pop advice to people on television. I've watched him run people down. I've watched him abuse people in front of an entire audience and national syndicated TV uh, hurt people and ruin them even more. So if there's guys like him, then there's people with the letters after their name, and then you have people that are even below them, these people that call themselves life coaches. We've got to kind of take a look at who it is that you're taking advice from. I believe that the one-on-one -on -one folks are best. You need to listen to your 
instincts. You gotta to listen to your instincts more. All of us do. In in this circle, in this circle of people who have been abused by the narcopath, how many times has some alarm bell gone off somewhere in us that we don't pay attention to because we were taught not to? You know, they beat that out of you until, you know, we're all the same and, you know, don't protect yourself and it's okay to walk. You know, you're they, they have names for you if you are cautious of certain people. And so you're taught from one to not protect yourself. Don't listen to the voice inside. Don't listen to your instincts. And these are dangerous things. That's another thing that I want to get us back to, that if you're watching me, I mean, I can give you pointers. I guess, it, fine, it's advice, but I'm not asking you for money and we're not going to Mexico for a retreat now, are we? So you can take some, I guess, take some advice. Look, you got to watch out who you're listening to. If it doesn't ring true, then you got to move on. And I've watched a lot of these people that have these narcissism channels and some of them I just really don't like. Male and female both. Um, I don't really know who to name at this point, but there's a few that I watched that something just didn't, didn't, didn't ring true. Um, a, a fellow that I really respect sent me an email recently with a link about this subject and he said something that was really cool is that he was watching the the person that i know now after watching is is also 100 percent narcopath he said he was watching the the facial expressions of of this guy and but he didn't know what he was looking for and i i, I found myself i do the same thing i don't know exactly what i'm looking for but i'm watching very closely and you can see that, you know, you're if you're watching, you can see certain things that that don't add up. When somebody's saying one thing and then their body is saying another, and probably the majority of the time, I couldn't even tell you which mannerism or what um, what expression I was looking at that doesn't match their words. But that's what's happening. So your 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 still small voice is telling you, "Hey, man, this guy's telling me stuff that's not adding up." So that's how we're going to have to discern, have discernment between um, truth and fiction. These people are out to make money. They're out to not just make money, but this this guy, man, what a scumbag. I, I can't remember his name right now, but this guy has built himself as a life coach, had some retreat down in Mexico and got all these people that were had been abused by I don't mean to laugh, but come on, people. He'd been abused by narcopaths, and then he gets them kind of cornered one-on-one -on -one and is t trying to put the moves on these women. And you're like, really? You know, girls, please, you know, don't, don't flirt with your... I mean, it's kind of their fault a little bit. Don't flirt with your therapist, your life coach. This guy's a life coach, right? Look, the... The difference between a real, let's say, let's just use the go and turn live. It, I, there are, maybe there's some real ones, but if you put some messages out that were of maybe even a slightly teasing or romantic uh, tone, and if this life coach bites on it and starts to respond, you got to get rid of them. That's how you know. A real therapist isn't going to. Um, engage in that kind of behavior, period, because they're they're truly trying to get you on the right track. It just shows you that anybody, anywhere, can they can get a, like I said, a microphone, a channel, a, a, a computer, internet connection, call themselves something, and then they have supply. They have an entire internet of supply of anybody that will contact them. So you got to be careful on who it is that you're that you are um, confiding in because they're listening to you the whole time and they're sizing you up the whole time. All right. So if they're, if, I mean, a good way, I wouldn't, I really don't, I don't know what to suggest. I don't like this, but the first thing that comes to mind is to test the waters, you know, throw something out there and see if he or she bites. And if they bite and they start responding back with 
romantic gestures, you need to sign off. If 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 you're looking for a life coach. Now, if you're just emailing and talking to each other and that that's okay. If you're not pretending that you are uh, in some sort of therapeutic relationship with this person, then 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 it's all those all the parameters are off. But if you're emailing someone outside of those parameters, it's okay to have those kind of exchanges. There's nothing wrong with that. But if they if they build themselves as these as some sort of therapist, and then next thing you know, they're putting the moves on you, you've made a mistake, and and you need to back off that very, very quickly. Watch the facial patterns. Watch the way they behave. Watch their body movement. It doesn't match what they say. And if it doesn't on the first go around, then you need to cut that loose. I'm really skeptical of anybody that says that, you know, hey, I'm a life coach because I'm so good at life, I have a YouTube channel because I'm really good at this, so I'm going to tell you how to do it. Man, most of the time, even the people with the letters behind their name are they're train wrecks, most of them. Like I said, I've, I ha- had one... I had one therapist that I went to years and years ago because I used to smoke cigarettes and he was good. He was very good. Uh, didn't have, um, didn't have the same, I don't think he had the same baggage or at least he discarded it long before I knew him. Uh, if you wanted to stop smoking or you had any addictions of any kind, he was very good at that. And uh, he didn't seem to have it. The, this kind of, um, weird vibe that some do. Some of them play games with our minds too. And a lot of them have no idea what it's like to be narcissistically abused. So that's another reason why you could discard, get rid of this, um, anyone that you would term a coach. I think that the the term itself is just kind of absurd, really. A live coach, really. Man, we're, we're just in a, such a strange time with these YouTube channels and platforms that anybody can do that. So um, be careful. Be very, very careful. I will not ask you to send money. Now, there are some people I do that there's some people that I I respect and admire that do ask you for money, but they don't ask you in the same way and they won't color outside the lines. I, I, you know who they are. Um, they won't they won't make those kind. They won't reciprocate if you are trying any funny business with them. But I won't. I'm 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 done. I, I mean, I'm done. I do not ask for any donations because this is my payment is when I make these and and people interact with me and respond and I get the uh, I get to talk talk to you in the in the comment section or sometimes in the emails when I get them too so um, just be careful please it's a very tough subject to get through you don't need anybody else weighing you down with more nonsense it's it, it really does it must it must suck to think that someone's going to help you and then you wander into a trap where someone's just trying to really trying to get laid. That's really sad, really sick. So if it's outside of those parameters, there's, there's nothing wrong with, uh, you know, the sky's the limit on what you want to talk about. But like I said, if somebody's trying to, trying to come to you as some sort of this is like, they know something that you don't, and then you find them in, in that situation, you need to get away. So, all right. I hope everyone's doing well. Did everyone see the eclipse? It was. Uh, I was in a region that we saw it. It was. Uh, it wasn't as dark as I thought it would be. I was kind of disappointed. It was eighty-five percent covered up, but the the shadows looked really, really weird. I, I should I should have put them on the uh, show to you. But anyway, it looked really strange. It was pretty neat. Lasted probably about ten minutes. Where I'm at here in North Texas. Very cool. It's cold outside today. Welcome change from the 105 degree weather that we've had so anyway if you didn't see it then um i'm sorry that's terrible so maybe we'll get the next one so i think there's another one come up in 2024 february i think so all right well i've wasted enough of your time talking about that look um i really do appreciate y'all coming here um i have oh what was i was gonna tell you i want you was it free from free from suffering and yeah free from suffering and full of joy, and um, I hope to see you all again real soon. Thanks.